I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. On the Senate floor Tuesday, Republican Senator Chuck Grassley responded to the ongoing Michael Sussman trial. The Iowa Senator said, quote, Clinton campaign lawyer Michael Sussman met with FBI General Counsel James Baker. In that meeting, Sussman provided information and data files that allegedly contained evidence of a secret communication channel between Trump Organization and a Russian bank, Alpha Bank. The evidence was fabricated by the Clinton campaign, end quote. Grassley excoriated the 2016 Democratic presidential candidate, stating that Clinton participated in a, quote, all-hands-on-deck strategy to destroy the Trump presidency and the campaign. Listen into Grassley's full remarks. I'll be able to finish my remarks uh, before the vote. Without objection. On September 23, 2021, November 30th, 2021, and again on February the 15th, 2022, I spoke on this floor about the fake Russia Alpha Bank narrative. That narrative started in 2016. It took on a new life when the Clinton campaign lawyer, Michael Sussman, met with FBI General Counsel James Baker. In that meeting, Sussman provided information and data files that allegedly contained evidence of a secret communication channel between Trump Organization and a Russian bank, Alpha Bank. The evidence was fabricated by the Clinton campaign. The allegations about Trump Organization being linked with a Russian bank were false. Of note, Sussman also provided Baker information, Fusion GPS gave him as part of their work for the Clinton campaign. This was an all-hands-on-deck strategy to destroy the Trump presidency and the campaign. With the ongoing Sussman trial now underway here in D.C., the false Alpha Bank narrative is more relevant now than ever before. So I want to tell you why. A mere several days after the meeting with James Baker, the FBI opened a full investigation on September 23rd, 2016. And around that time, the FBI agent working on cyber matters reviewed the information provided by Sussman. That agent said, and I quote, we didn't agree with the conclusion that this represented a secret communication channel, end quote. He also stated, so I quote again, whoever had written that paper had jumped to some conclusions that were not supported by the data, end of quote, and that, again to quote, the methodology they chose was questionable to me, end quote. And here is the kicker. Quote, I didn't feel that they were objective in the conclusions that they came to, the assumptions that you would have to make was so far reaching that it just didn't make sense, end of quote. So last Friday in courtroom, Robbie Moak, Hillary Clinton's campaign manager, testified that Hillary Clinton was asked about the plan to share this fake information with the media. Hillary Clinton approved that plan. Jake Sullivan was involved in that decision as well. He's, of course, as we know, President Clinton's national security advisor. The Clinton campaign fabricated evidence trying to connect Trump to Florida. They fed it to the media to start a years-long wildfire of false ap ap allegations. They fed it to the FBI to trigger federal investigation into their opposing candidate. I've said it before, say it again. 
the Clinton campaign was the conspiracy. And it was a big bag of dirty tricks. This false Alpha Bank information eventually landed with the media outlet, outlet Slate, which ran an article on January 31st, 2016. After that article, Sullivan, the now National Security Advisor, issued his now fame infamous tweet, quote, this could be the most direct link yet between Donald Trump and Moscow, end of quote. Hillary Clinton also tweeted, quote, computer scientists have apparently uncovered a covert server linking the Trump organization to a Russian-based bank, end of Hillary Clinton's quote. Now, they weren't the only ones pleased with this fake news. On October 13, 2020, Senator Johnson and I wrote a letter to the FBI where we made public text between Andrew McCabe and Lisa Page. Page says to M M McCabe, quote, the Alpha Bank story is in Slate, end of quote. McCabe, McCabe replied, quote, awesome, end of quote. The FBI's excitement didn't end there. La this week, Durham's prosecutors introduced a message between FBI agents that said, quote, people on the seventh floor to include director are fired up about this server, and a quote of that message. Now, they, meaning the FBI 7th floor people, were fired up about fake information, which is just terrible. The FBI's job, the FBI's job is really to get fired up about fake information, it's more than that, however. It's a gunch, gut-wrenching attack on our system of government. Now, there's another data point that I want to share. Durham recently released notes from a March 6, 2017 meeting between the Justice Department and FBI officials. That, in that meeting, they dis discussed predication and crossfire hurricane issues. This meeting was two weeks before then Director Comey publicly announced his investigation into Trump. On that very day, March 6, 2017, I wrote a letter to Comey asking him questions about the Steele dossier. My press release for that letter is titled, quote, FBI plan to pay ex-spy for Trump intel during campaign sparks questions of Obama's administration's use of federal authorities for political gain, end of quote. That was from March 6, 2017. Now, in May of 2022, that title just about sums up Crossfire Hurricane as best as it can be described. Now, in closing, I'd like to make a few notes with respect to predication. On September 23, 2016, FBI Electronics Communication opened a full investigation into the Alpha Bank alle alle uh, allegations. But let's unpack the first few lines from that document, quote, the FBI received a referral of information from the U.S. Department of Justice. Quote, the U.S., the Department of Justice provided the FBI with a white paper that was produced by an anonymous third party, end of quote. 
Well, the information didn't come from the Department of Justice. It came from Sussman and the Clinton campaign. Hardly an anonymous third party since Sussman himself showed up at the door. By wording it this way, the document almost blesses this so-called white paper. Mind you, the white paper is the false Alpha Bank information. By the looks of it, the FBI document contains false information. I fear these recent developments are just the tip of the iceberg. The FBI's exposure to false information and actually using that false information for investigative purposes reeks of a political vendetta. It points to an all get Trump at all cost attitude. Whether Sussman is convicted or not, the evidence introduced by Durham shows serious government misconduct. Misconduct by the federal government of the United States of America. Special Consul Durham can't let government misconduct go unpunished. I yield.